almost a hundred years ago, Mahatma Gandhi said, the soul of India lives in its villages. The Reserve Bank of India Act 1934 recognizes this aspect and therefore envisages a special developmental role for the Reserve Bank in the sphere of rural credit, especially agricultural credit. Following the extension of provisions of the RBI Act 1934 and the Banking Regulation Act 1949, in 1966 to cooperative banks, the need for training of the staff of cooperative banks, particularly in banking principles and procedures, assumed a new dimension. On 5th May 1967, Sri B.C. Bhattacharya, Governor RBI, laid the foundation stone of this college building. The college was named as Cooperative Bankers Training College, CBTC, and the first program for managerial personnel of urban cooperative banks was started on 29 September 1969. The RBI entered into a reciprocal collaboration agreement for five years in November 1969 with the Vaikunt Mehta National Institute for Cooperative Management, Vamnikom, Pune. The nationalization of 14 banks, commercial banks were also enrolled for agricultural and rural credit. The government of India took the decision that the commercial banks should also give a portion of their credit to the priority sector, namely agriculture. The commercial banks were only engaged in industrial credit and commercial credit. That is why College of Agriculture Banking was established. In 1973, the World Bank mandated Agricultural Project Course APC, for bank officials to avail the general line of credit by Agricultural Refinance and Development Corporation ARDC. On 6th February 1974, the committee of the Central Board of RBI proposed to rename the college as College of Agricultural Banking. On 16 February 1974, it was renamed as College of Agricultural Banking, CAB, to focus on capacity building in agricultural development banking and finance. With its rich experience in agriculture-related training, CAB around 1975 became a hub for providing residential courses to participants from Afro-Asian countries. From 1977, CAB started training programs for officers of RRBs. With its rich experience, CAB has conducted programs on foreign locations such as Agricultural Development Bank of Afghanistan and National Savings Bank of Sri Lanka. CAB has also extended consultancy services and devised training programs for Bhutan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Malaysia and Thailand. In the 80s, CAB started short duration programs on financing of animal husbandry units, plantation crops, horticulture, agro-based small-scale industries, rural artisan industries, gober gas plants, construction of go-downs and market yards. In the late 1990s, information technology became the cutting edge for reliable banking service. The college designed specific programs in payment system, information system audit and information system management, and computer-related programs. In 1997, RBI brought NBFCs within its regulatory ambit. To complement regulatory measures with training skills, the college started training programs for officers of NBFCs. In January 2006, the RBI permitted banks to channelize the services of non-governmental organizations, self-help groups, microfinance institutions and other civil society organizations as intermediaries. Through training of trainers programs for in-charges of financial literacy centers, FLCs and business correspondence of banks. In November 2012, CAB organized an international conference on leveraging cooperative advantage to celebrate the United Nations International Year of Cooperatives. RBI had launched a national mission for capacity building of bankers. 
in lending to MSMEs in 2015, and the College of Agricultural Banking acted as the nodal point. Since its inception, the college has trained more than 1,50,000 officers of banks and RBI. CAB functions under the overall guidance of the College Advisory Committee, CAC, which is headed by the Deputy Governors of the Human Resource Management Department in RBI. Chairman of NABAD, CEOs of select commercial banks, representatives of some apex-level organizations and eminent academicians are the members and special invitees of the CAC. CAC also decides the vision and mission for the college. The present vision and mission are to be a premier center of excellence for capacity building in development banking and finance, to provide high quality training to build and enhance capabilities in the financial sector in general and rural and cooperative sectors in particular. At present, the programs of the college have been divided into four channels, Agricultural Banking Channel, ABC, Cooperative Banking Channel, CBC, MSME and Inclusive Finance Channel, MIC, and Human Resource and Leadership Channel, HLC, so as to develop specialization in each area. To bring in cutting-edge knowledge and practices, the college invites speakers and trainers from BIS, World Bank, Central Office of RBI, NABAD, commercial banks, corporates, and practitioners from related areas. Cab Calling, the College Journal, is a topical compendium of articles on contemporary issues, with each issue worthy of being a collector's item. The CAB campus is spread over seven acres of verdant green land in the heart of Pune city. There is a banyan tree within the campus under which the revolutionary Damodar Hari Tsapikar waited before fatally shooting Mr. W.C. Rand, a high-ranking British official and collector of Pune, on June 22, 1897. All buildings, blocks, classrooms and auditoriums have been named after various rivers of India. For conferences and seminars and gatherings, the college has an auditorium named Brahmaputra with a seating capacity of about 120 persons. The college has two conference rooms for internal and special meetings. Training activities are conducted in four classrooms, which are Mandakini, Bhagirathi, Janavi and Nandini. The college is equipped with video conferencing facility in the auditorium, conference rooms and in the Mandakini classroom. There are 96 air-conditioned, clean, hygienic and well-maintained hostel rooms. A state-of-the-art kitchen is functional to cater to 168 residential and non-residential participants at a time. A dispensary is available to provide medical care. A walking track along the periphery of the college compound and both open-air and conventional gymnasia encourage physical activity. An acupressure winding track has been created to provide a unique barefoot walking experience. CAB has a sports and recreation center and facilities such as badminton court, carom boards, snooker board, table tennis, cricket ground with floodlights, cycling track, etc. for recreational needs of trainees. The college has installed 170 kilowatt solar power plant. The college campus also houses the Reserve Bank of India archives, the repository of old records of the Reserve Bank, which was set up in 1981. An archives museum was established within the premises of the archives in 2010, which showcases the historical documents, photographs and artifacts reflecting the journey of the bank since its establishment in 1935. The college has a financial inclusion and financial literacy learning center for the benefit of the public. The college completed 50 years of its existence in September 2019. 
The college conducted various activities during the Golden Jubilee year, starting with various sports competitions like badminton, carom, table tennis, etc., for CAB employees and their family members. A quiz was held for participants of various programs at CAB and also an intercity quiz competition on financial literacy for students of high school and junior college was organized. A walkathon for employees and family members was organized to spread awareness among the public on digital financial literacy, which was followed by the Financial Literacy Awareness Week. A financial literacy program and tree plantation was organized at a school in Kamgao village, approximately 50 kilometers away from Pune. The college also organized four lectures by renowned personnel on contemporary topics in the financial sector. Some thoughts on macroeconomic sustainability. The case of India. Progress and Prospects of Digital Financial Inclusion in India A Nine Eyes Perspective Lending Profitably to the Priority Sector Doubling of Farmers' Income Role of Banks The members of the staff and their families participated in various cultural activities on the 51st Annual Foundation Day on September 19, 2019 to celebrate the momentous occasion. We have uh, got uh, various uh, feedbacks from the members of the SAC countries and uh, they have appreciated RBI care faculties, the environment where they are actually putting in and uh, the take away. Uh, actually, they are uh, coming back to us and demanding that more and more such programs should be held in RBI CAP. CAB aims to be a premier center of excellence for capacity building in development banking and finance with special emphasis on the cooperative sector and act as a platform for cross-institutional interactions to evolve inputs for policy intervention by the Reserve Bank of India, government and other policy makers.